Hello, everybody. Gamer CJ here. Back with another um, Pac Man video. Um, one of my YouTube subscribers, his name is Buto. He is someone I do Taekwondo with. He wanted to. He wanted me to play Pac Man the other night. Last night I was very tired. Tonight I'm going to play some. Now make I'll make the microphone a little bit louder. So this is about. Nah, uh, maybe even, like 80. I'm uh, sorry for lack of uploads. I've been kind of, a lot of stuff on my mind that's been stressing me out. A lot of personal issues. Alright, let's go. So, let's do this. I actually played this other game, but the other day. Actually, beat the high score on that machine I set. Um, I think it was last time I was there at 52,000. 152, excuse me. Oh, oh. Okay, that was not intentional. I'm gonna do two games then. Give me that combo. The maximum score possible for a Pac-Man on each stage is 14,000, well, at least for level one. Because the, uh, the fruit values change, it It's more uh, or less the same. I'm gonna tell you guys a dirty joke. Damn it! Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a dirty joke. Um, it's a Pac-Man related joke. Who's the biggest? Uh, who's the biggest slut in history? Miss Pac-Man, because. Uh, she, for 25 cents, you can, uh, she, she eats balls until she dies, meaning the, um, pellets. Um, I actually heard that on a, uh, a show called Vice Kids Telling Dirty Jokes. I've been, I've been on a dirty jokes kick, so. I just felt like saying that funny joke. I hope I don't get demonetized for it. Oh, he's making a joke! All the, all the woke SWJs are going to go, Oh, this video isn't made for kids. These kids are, just, are, are uh, exposed to much, to, to much worse uh, these days. Whether it be like uh, playing Fortnite or the shitty rap music. You know, that drops N-bombs left and right. Meanwhile, parents say, Oh, I support that stuff. Meanwhile, oh, it's just a song. And yet people get mad. Oh, but, uh, you know what? Uh, Slayers 2 are offensive. Okay. I I don't like social justice warriors. SWJs. I don't like people that wear signs on their front yards and... And they literally have to prove to you, man, I'm a woke person because I, uh... Because I support homosexuality. Please, there was a time before that was accepted, so... Bob Hoffman from Judas Priest is, is one of my favorite, uh... Um... 
member of, uh, or should I say he's my favorite heavy metal singer. That's cool, you know. Deuce Priest is my favorite band, so I don't really care. I'm just riffing today, I'm sorry. There's, there's, I'm just... Normal Asperger mood swings, I call it. Just getting pissed off for no reason. I find that people that are more intelligent, though, they uh, tend to get pissed off a lot more. I'm suffering from anxiety and emotional issues. It's actually proven though that intellectuals tend to tend to struggle with a lot more stuff, and they know how to manage it better. I got a joke for you guys. Uh, what's uh? I should have a big sack because uh, because he only comes once a year. Yeah. I love dirt. I love I love offensive jokes. Oh, damn it. I'm going to have to do another game. I'm completely unfocused. But if you have any kids that watch like these YouTube videos, don't hesitate. If, they, if, if they're at least uh, 10, you know, tell them jokes. You know, they probably know it already, you know. You know. The way they teach everyone to be accepting, be accepting that, that, be, be accepting of certain jokes. And don't, don't be offended by whether or not I make a regular remark, oh, he's disgusting. I don't care if I offended you. They're called jokes. Miss Pac-Man joke is hilarious. I don't care what you say. It's like I don't get offended by jokes. Um, I like people that have thick skin, you know, that just can go, hey, you can say whatever you want. Really? I could say anything? What? Like, uh, why does, uh, why does Santa have a big, have a big sack? Because he only comes, he only comes once a year. Oh! I'm gonna do like dirty comedy one day, like That would actually be hilarious though. Like someone telling middle school jokes. You know at mid a middle school talent show? Yeah, I got some jokes. Oh who's the biggest one? Hey, don't say that. I actually discovered well, I like dirty jokes, but um I watched, I did a, I watched the Try Not To Laugh Challenge. I was literally cracking up. I thought those jokes are hilarious. But Vice, uh, the channel Vice has a, uh, these videos of, like, young, young, young people telling, like, adult jokes. And there was this nine-year-old, I forgot the name, oh no, her name was Ruby. She literally looked like this, like, princess. Like, literally, she could be like a, 
a, a, someone who likes, uh, like, like what I call shitty pop, and like, and yet, she also gets it too, she's like, it's like, yeah, I get it, yeah. I wanna, uh, if Mars Planes ever has a talent show, I wanna join it and just do like, or if there's like an open mic night, just tell dirty jokes. You know, hey, uh, you know, uh, man, that's disgusting. Man, there are people, there are kids around. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one might be too dirty for YouTube. Um, what, uh, how did the priest get the nun pregnant? Because he dressed <laughs> because she dressed him up as an altar boy. Or he dressed up like an altar boy. You know, because like I don't like that siren. Oh, what do... Oh, yeah. What's the difference between a priest and a gynecologist? Oh, no, wait. No, that's not... That's not what I meant. What's the... What's... What's the difference between a... A priest and a um, pimple. A pimple waits, waits till you're uh, 12 to come on your face. So if YouTube algorithm, if this video gets blocked because of insane jokes, well, just let you know, kids should be watching my content. Today I just feel like being dirty. I tend to be funnier when I have high anxiety. It's kind of a a weird like Asperger trait that I came up with. Plus, I've always I've always loved dirty humor. It's just something about that sort of humor that kind of outweighs like the other humor because um, my biggest uh, thing that I like to do is I just like to piss certain people off or get on certain people's nerves. No, people that... Like, people think that they're woke, but then when they, like, um... Like, everybody has to support BLM. Like, I get it, okay? I get it. I, I get why you're... Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna make it racial. I got a good one. Uh, well, no, I don't think I a good one. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm actually not good with making jokes. I usually just make come up with material because I'm afraid, like, like the joke is gonna be unfunny. Like, I'm like Norm McDonald, which is one of my he's one of my favorite comedians. Yeah, yeah, yeah you remember, like. Uh, It's like, okay, I get it. I do what you do. Yeah, it's like, Norm's the best. He's also Canadian. You know, he's, Norm's the best. I love Norm McDonald. So, getting back to the game. Sometimes I get in Pac-Man runs where if I die too much, then I just go on insane key runs. Because usually I get invested in patterns. Where Yeah, um shit. Yep, I'm able to get it. It's like I feel like Pac-Man's so freaking obsessible. 
that like even if you don't want to, like even in a hundred years they'll make this game will still be relevant. It's like uh I don't know, it's like hip hop. It's like well no, I shouldn't say hip hop. Hip hop hip hop sucks. I get it why why young people like it, but I get why why I don't like it though. Ooh, 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 ooh. No! Fuck! Um, so, I'm gonna do that again. But, I understand why people like rap. Let's see if I can get higher now. But, I understand why people like hip hop. I totally understand it. Especially young people, it's like. It's popular. Like, I don't know how it would... I don't know if, like... Like, I switch bodies. Like, let's say, like... Bo switch bodies with, like, a... I don't know, like a 12-year-old or something. You know... And, uh... They are into, like... Um... They say they're, like, nice and understanding, but in reality... They're like every typical girl I met, like, oh, well, we just like popular music. You know, we like pop. It's hard really to contend with someone that is very nice and approachable, but but in reality, they're not nice and approachable. Have you ever met those people? Like, not even just young people, but just like people in general. They, 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 they're nice and approachable, and then you do some like subtle things that kind of, that kind of annoy them. You know, like, like go to like a public place and sing in front of them and and randomly creep them out. That's what I've done with a couple of my with a couple of people I know. <laughs> you know, just like singing, like uh, I'm probably the only one in my neighborhood that honestly literally goes out and listens to like bands that people have never heard of and like literally have has have just made like I don't know like like if you heard of this group like I have a, one of my supervisors at my job Green Vision their name is Hunter um Hunter likes punk um and I found out that punk is not good for my mental state. Um, heavy metal is my favorite genre. And by the way, um, no one, uh, if, 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 if a kid like you meet, like, because I know a couple of just, just people I do tech with with their stuff, they say they know Metallica, don't, don't believe them, because that means you like mainstream pop if you like Metallica. Now, if you say you like Iron Maiden or Judas Priest, yeah, you're not mainstream. I think of Metallica and I think of, well, that person's just mainstream. I think, uh, um, I think, I think they should teach, like, heavy metal in schools. Um, I really do. I really think they should, um, you know, I catch up on what the youths are doing because I follow a couple, well not follow, but I look photos up of a couple of my, of my old elementary school I went to, Borough School, and I literally, um, look it up and like they're, like, like it's ironic because I really think that these, uh, that these, uh, especially this generation, because like, um, when I'm 45, I don't know, like all the bands that I like, half of the members are going to be dead. So it's like, you know, I grew up with parents that actually don't like heavy metal. So it's like, um, I shouldn't say that my dad likes it. My mom, my mom hates it. My mom, my, my mom's a typical like, um, um, hippie, I guess what you'd call. So she just likes, uh, the Beatles and stuff. I mean, she likes some pop music, you know. But every nice girl that I've met, uh, the ones that I know, 
either like Disney music or they like pop on the radio. You know, or they like or they like oldie stuff. But that generation is going to be over soon. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm just saying, you know, heavy metal, as we know it, is going to be dead. Unless, of course, you're an easygoing person. Then again, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, uh... Doing my streaming. It's like, uh... And by the way, uh, being a Halloween fan, I don't think the new record is good. Just, just honestly, I don't like the sound of the record. Sorry, Kai. Um, I am a big fan of you, by the way, but you don't... No, I, I do all these, like, music things. I have a podcast. I reach out to these YouTubers. Nobody cares. Like, I just want to go on a musical debate show. You know, make, because I don't own records. I only own, like... I only listen to the bands through either downloaded albums. I'm not like what you would call a sort of diehard, but I am a diehard. I listen to the bands. I buy the merchandise. I'm not someone that's going to spend a hundred dollars getting like a uh, getting like a rare single. You know, I I don't collect vinyl because I have an iPhone, and I don't feel like it's gonna. I don't feel like having a a vinyl record helps helps me in any way. You know, I get it. But like like what's gonna happen? Is heavy metal if people say metal can never die, but it's like like I feel like this generation that's that's currently in school right now, they don't like heavy metal. It's like it, like, 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 even for, for like, I mean, well, maybe, well, there's a young band that called Liliac that I've been following. Um, they're pretty good. They're, they're Vamp, they're Vamp Rock. And a fan that likes, um, excuse me, that, that likes, uh, that kind of, uh, I guess, not extremity, but I'm not a goth. I don't like gothic music. You... But I really like uh, band. I, I like gothic metal sound, like Stormwitch. Uh, the first album has a very gothic new album sound to it. That's, by the way, my fa uh, my favorite band right now. Even though Jewish Priest, tech well, technically the Priest is one of my favorites. I listen to them from time to time. Can you imagine? Um... I would love to meet Rob Halford. I think Rob Halford, like if I ever met him, like let's say Jewish Priest decided, you know, they were gonna come to my town. You know, I'm like the Carrie King of Mars Plains. It's like I I'm the only one that kind of is the diehard metalhead that just, you know, you know, goes to like the local parks and just sings like heavy metal. I actually have not I don't know if that's like a a weird personality trait. I feel like that could be like a good black metal video. You know, just going, you know, going to the local park down the street from my house, walking on park and just like, like do death growling and stuff, you know, just, or the, you know, like, I'm not a big death metal, I'm not a big black or death metal fan anymore. I don't, I only listen to the, uh, I only listen to traditional style, new album, speed metal, sometimes thrash metal, um, power metal, doom metal, you know, more of the, I love the melodic singing, just the slow, slow tempo kind of stuff. That's my, that's my cup of tea. You know, doom metal, hey, yeah. Oh, and I like, I like some glam. Glam metal is pretty epic. Especially, uh, when they talk about my favorite type of women. Uh, blonde haired angels, I call them. Like, girls that are just, like, really cute. Like, the, uh... 
You know, I would date Taylor Swift. The only reason I would date her is because uh, she might not. She, I don't think she'll write a song about a metalhead. So, yeah, you know, she'll. Oh, well, I broke up with him. My new. It's my new song uh, about. Uh, I have a new song. It's about a metalhead. You know, a guy that likes heavy metal music. Yeah. There's a Swift I like. Ian Swift from the band Avenger. If you don't know Avenger, uh, well, whatever. If you're a metalhead and you don't know Avenger, you shouldn't call yourself a metalhead because, um, I remember when I first got into New Wave of British Heavy Metal and there are a couple bands, there are two bands that I stick with. The Spartan Warrior, their, their second record, and, um, and a band called Blade Runner. Their first record, ha uh, Haunted is an amazing, amazing record. Oh, come on! That was a that was a mistake. Yeah, I've been I've been recording songs lately. But I made like an album. It was called I Hate Everything album. That was a mistake. I did that more as a joke. Because I'm actually not one of those like sad and email people that just hate everything. I feel bad for people that do think that way, but that's not me. I don't hate everything. I was thinking about putting music on, like really, really obscure underground stuff, but then I realized, nah, I just want to talk. You guys should check out my podcast. It's on Podbean. But I don't think anyone's interested enough, so... You know... Summertime, I tend to take a lot of hiatuses for some reason. But what I'm surprised about is no one has found my musical reviews and has given to someone like Pete Pardo, like from Sea Trans. Really, I'm like, dude, I want to be interviewed with Pete Pardo. Like, he lives in Hudson County. I live in Mar. I live in New Jersey. It's like, I wanna, I wanna be involved with like a, a heavy metal thing because I have a lot of, you know, I want to be part of those debates. You know. But I don't, I don't know. I don't own any vinyl. I mean, I don't. I just, uh, I rather, uh, what was I going to say? I did a video about how uh, Bristol Fate's not black metal. It's like saying that, um, Deicide is not death metal. Because Deicide, Deicide talks about Satan and they don't talk about death. So for you to say that Deicide, like that's my biggest, like, Deicide is one of my favorite death metal records, uh, death, death metal bands, because when I, when I have to listen to my metal music, I like for it to be extreme and kind of, you know, I like when certain bands push the boundary of, hey, well this is extremely heavy, yeah, let's be offensive as possible, you know, I can't listen anymore because when I listen to my metal, I like to sing. And I feel I can't sing to I can't sing the music that they go or or that I can, it hurts my voice. I don't know why. I don't know how like they can do that. You know, does it take like special skill? You know what I mean? Like to just go ooh 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 ooh. You know, take special skill to go like.
That's why my favorite heavy metal singer is... Well, one of my favorite is Andy Muck, a.k.a. Andy Aldrin from uh, Stormwatch. Or Dirk from uh, Iron Age. Damn it! Dirk from... Well, I still beat the high score. No, the, the guy I'm thinking of is Dirk Stroder from Iron Angel. All right, so two games. First game, I got two. So this is one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth key. I think the last game I got to the sixth. So, but the high score was, was more. 180,290. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Interesting top 10. I'm going, or Pac-Man video. I'm going to actually record something right now. Talk to you later.